Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Brock Purdy, the keys to the 49ers offense weren't given to me, I had to earn my place. First round draft picks are often proclaimed a team's franchise quarterback without having to earn it. For Mr. Irrelevant, it's different. 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy, the last pick in the 2022 NFL draft, said it's been a different experience for him, having to earn everything that he's had after going from third string to first string in his rookie year. The keys weren't just given to me or anything, it had to be earned, Purdy said. Coming in day one, just trying to learn Kyle's system, his playbook, and earn the respect of my teammates. Over time I've been able to step into that role and be ready for my opportunity. At the same time, I have a lot of help around me, and it's allowed me to develop, and I'm going to continue to develop with the help and the cast I have around me. Purdy has led his team to the NFC Championship game as a rookie and is now in the Super Bowl in his second season, but he doesn't think he's done developing as a quarterback. There's a lot more room for me to grow, Purdy said. That's a scary thought for the teams that will be facing Purdy and the 49ers for years to come. Kyle Shanahan jokes about George Kittle's image transformation. The San Francisco 49ers made good on their promise to avenge their loss in last year's NFC Championship game as they find themselves representing the conference in Super Bowl 58. The 49ers earned the number one seed during the 2023 NFL season with a dominant second half run and beat the Green Bay Packers and Detroit Lions to meet the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. San Francisco was considered a contender for most of the year and they lived up to expectations with balanced football on both sides of the field. Unlike last year, the 49ers are operating at near full strength, particularly on the offensive end where they'll have their primary weapons available. George Kittle has dealt with nagging injuries over the year, but by all accounts is healthy and ready to go for Sunday. Head coach Kyle Shanahan took some time during Super Bowl week to poke fun at Kittle's image change via KNBR. I always mess with George, Shanahan said. You go back and watch him his first year, he didn't have wristbands, wore his socks real weird and had a clean-cut haircut. Then his second year he was the WWE champ, Shanahan said. Kittle has a reputation for being a big wrestling fan and is often heard referencing professionals like The Rock in interviews. The star tight end is one of the premier players at his position and is lauded for his pass-catching and blocking ability. Kittle is normally a mismatch on the field for teams, but he'll have his hands full when he goes up against the Kansas City defense. What should the Cowboys do with RB Tony Pollard? The Dallas Cowboys lack cap room and thus the flexibility to offer free agents massive contracts. OTC estimates the Cowboys are $19.74 million over the cap, meaning the franchise must make tough decisions, letting some players walk while others stay. Perhaps the most prominent of their 16 unrestricted free agents, running back Tony Pollard. The Cowboys should not get into a bidding war to keep Pollard, wrote the Athletics' John Machota. He's a good player, but the position just doesn't have the same value anymore. If they can retain him on a team-friendly deal, it could be a smart move. Running back should be addressed somewhere in the middle of the draft, but bringing back Pollard, 26, for another year or two is not a bad idea. Dallas gave Pollard the franchise tag last offseason, paying him $10.09 million on a fully guaranteed one-year deal. Jerry Jones and company could tag him again if they don't want to commit to a long-term deal. However, when a player is tagged for a second time, it costs 120% of his salary from the previous season. Extending him could be more expensive. Per Spotrack, Pollard's market value is a two-year deal worth $6.5 million annually, eighth at his position. Pollard didn't meet expectations in his first season as RB1 in Dallas, but he wasn't terrible. In 17 games, Pollard rushed for 1,005 yards and 6 TDs on 252 carries. Keeping him and adding a legit RB2 would fortify Dallas' ground attack which could in turn help it end a 27-year championship drought. The San Francisco 49ers, who face the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 58 on Sunday, are third in the league in rushing yards per game, 139.7.
Dallas, meanwhile, finished 15th, 113.5. The San Francisco 49ers are interested in hiring Tony Pollard. The Houston Texans could be big players in free agency, and one position they could address is running back. There could be a lot of big names on the open market this year, and pro football focus picked Dallas Cowboys running back Tony Pollard as an ideal for the Texans in 2024. Pollard still delivered a strong 83.9 PFF rushing grade, 10th, and 1,005 rushing yards, 12th, PFF's Jonathan Macri wrote. Pollard did have slightly better rushing metrics than, Devin, Singletary in 2023, and could be considered an upgrade for an ascending offense looking to add to their arsenal. The Texans are currently slated to lose about 60% of the team's running back carries in free agency, which is a great number for Pollard to absorb as he looks to recoup some fantasy value. Whether or not this comes to pass relies entirely on three things, the Texans' interest in retaining Singletary, the Cowboys' interest in retaining Pollard, and if Texans want to pay a running back big money. Any one of those factors could derail this idea, but it's still an intriguing option for Houston. D'Amico Ryans addressed the need to improve the running game during his post-2023 press conference. The team finished in the bottom half of the league in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns behind Singletary and Damian Pierce. However, the cure might just be better run blocking up front rather than an entirely new rushing attack. The Texans will surely make some personnel changes in 2024 if they want to repeat as AFC South champions and progress further in the playoffs. Houston is expected to have the third most salary cap space this offseason, but a plethora of impending free agents as well. Spotrac valued Pollard at $6.5 million per year, which would be a relatively low risk given his ceiling as a dual threat running back. But is he worth that? Pollard rushed for 1,000 rushing yards for the second consecutive season, but his yards per carry dropped dramatically when he became the Cowboys' featured running back. He averaged 5.2 yards per carry in 2022 on only 193 carries, but averaged 4.0 yards per carry in 2023 on 252 carries. Pollard also scored half as many touchdowns this past season, 6, than he did the previous year, 12. There are a few enticing running back options in free agency, including Pollard. Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, and Derrick Henry could all hit the open market this season and all would be upgrades over Singletary and Pierce. The biggest question will be how Texans general manager Nick Casario values the position and how important the running game will be in 2024. And you fan, what do you think of the Tony Pollard situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.